Hi everybody, it's Shannon with Shanna Sweets. Thank you for joining me for another sweet treat video. What is a sweet treat? A sweet treat is my little monthly card kit that I give out for the month to all my customers who purchase $25 or more. You get the video for free if you're watching this, but if you purchase, then you get the little card kit. It comes in a little envelope like this with a thank you card for purchasing and you will get a printed PDF to go along with this video. It makes two cards and has an envelope inside also. This month I am featuring Delicate Dahlia, which is a free stamp set with a $100 purchase during the, the rest of this month. Um, its celebration continues during September, but then it's over with. There's several things available um, in the celebration catalog that you can select, but they are, many of the items are um, limited. So, but the stamp sets will be available um, during the whole time. So this one you'll be able to get the whole time with a $100 purchase. We are going to make two cards um, let's start with the simpler card first, and I'm using Pear Pizzazz, Melon Mambo, and Polished Pink. This stamp set allows you to do two-step stamping, or you can just do outline. So we're going to do a card using both techniques. So first we're going, I'm also using some paper that is available in the Celebration stamp set, and this is called Beautifully Pinned. It's a companion DSP that goes along with the hand pinned um, DSP, but it's all black and white. So on one side you kind of have some floral imagery, and then, then on the other side you have some black and white, um, I guess, geometric type. So I'm going to use the floral side, and I have two um, strips of each. So I have half inch of this um, more really small print, and then one inch strips and these are eight and a half inch long, which is what's provided in your kit. And these um, are a little bit wider. So we're gonna have a four by five and a quarter white for the inside. Then you have four by five and a quarter of pear pizzazz that has been ran through the bark embossing folder. Then you have a big die, um, die cut out from, um, I forgot the name, I'm sorry, it's on this supply list. Then you will have one of each label. So in the sample, I have used the green. This card, I'll use the white, but I didn't, I figured it was your choice, whichever one you wanted to use. And then we're gonna use polished pink, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're just going to fold it in half. So we'll go ahead and do that. I have an embossing folder here. And then I can go ahead and put in my liner piece. On the inside. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add these strips to my base. So I want to start with um, so you can do this one of two ways. I almost found it easier. If you know where you want to start at, you go ahead and just put down some glue. So you can do this with wet glue or you can do it with um, tape runner, whatever you want. I did find that the wet glue allows you a little bit of wiggle room. So, and I want to go about halfway, but I want to, I'm going to go across my corners. So, I'm going to go ahead and lay this down, one piece across, and then I wanted my skinny piece to go next, so I'm going to lay that next to it, and I want to make sure that all my, I'm going across all the ends. Then I'm going to lay the next largest piece, then a skinny piece again. 
and you have extra paper so I'm just alternating um, if I was being more conservative I'd probably and I do want to make since I'm using the wet glue I'm gonna let this dry while we're stamping so that way before I cut I know it's good and dry and you can choose which side whether you want your rough side of your embossing folder sticking up or whether you want it laying flat okay let's grab a little cushion to stamp on and we're going to stamp on our dahlia our label with our dahlia and we're also going to stamp on some post-it so i have this stripped post-it and it's not really big enough for my dahlia. So what I'm gonna do is take and put it together, okay, so that I have a bigger piece. I'm gonna take my Melon Mambo because it's just a little bit darker than my polished pink, okay? And it will stain your stamp, but that's okay. It'll still stamp other colors fine. And I'm going to stamp on my Post-It first. Okay, I'm going to ink it up again, and I'm going to stamp my label. Okay, now I do need to put, just because I don't want my post-it to come off in the middle, I'm going to put a piece of tape right across there, and then I'm going to cut this out. So, if you take some scissors and just cut along like this, okay, and go along the outside edge, all right, if you do that all the way around, you'll get a mask like this, okay, because that's what I want. Then if you're real careful, you can see some little parts of this that are different, all right? So find that part on your dahlia, okay? And then just lay that mask down. Try to line it up, don't be a dork. It doesn't have to be perfect, but at least a little better than that, okay? So lay it down like that, and then take your outlined leaf okay and stamp your old olive and I got a little bit more space on this side so I'm going to stamp it once and then I'm going to come down a little bit face it the other way stamp it twice okay now I'm going to take the one that's full And I got some scratch paper here, okay, and I'm going to stamp on my scratch paper, and then I'm going to fill in my leaf, okay, do it again, stamp, and now fill in my leaf. Now, if you want it, leave it with two. I can put a third one. Sometimes I'll do two on one side and then do a third one down below. And then do the same thing there. Now, just pull your, and you can see here, how that looks. Now you can leave your dahlia like this if you like, or you can fill it in. So if you want to fill it in, take your take your full dahlia image. I did try stamping off with the pink polish, but I didn't get a very good because this is a two. Um, this purposely looks like a watercolored, so it doesn't stamp off very easy. You can see this little hook in the dahlia so just line that little hook up and that little hook up there and this doesn't have to be perfect um, try not to get my head in here but it's kind of hard to see I 
This is not lined up at all. So I didn't get it lined up, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. It kind of gives it a textured look if you're not lined up perfect. I think I feel like it adds texture to the flower and gives it dimension when you're not lined up. Okay. So coming back to our paper, if you turn it over, this is the back side. Now that my glue's dried, then you can just cut alongside the card. Okay. And then I can throw my scraps away. All right, now I can take and add this. All right, me and the tape are not getting along. Okay, so we're gonna add this to our card front. And then we're going to add our dahlia with some dimensionals. Like to add my double at the top. Then what we can do is take our sentiment and I'm going to stamp it in the Melon Mambo. Oh, this one's the sympathy one, sorry. And I do want to add a at the bottom is going to get dimensionals and at the top is going to get a little bit of glue because it's going to stick to the top of my dahlia and that is card number one All right, card number two is a little more complicated, but I thought it was fun. So we're going to take and do our stamping first, okay? I'm gonna take a piece of scrap paper on the bottom. I'm going to take my big dahlia. I'm just doing outline stamping here. I'm gonna stamp the dahlia first. This is four by five and a quarter of balmy blue, okay? So I'm gonna stamp the dahlia up here in the corner and you can stamp it more than once if you want, but I'm going to use this little flower. I'm going to take the leaf, stamp the leaf a couple times, stamp my flower. The center is what's going to show, okay, so mostly. So I kind of want that stuff. You know what, I'm going to go ahead, I don't think this will show, but I'm going to stamp it down here just in case, okay? All right, so I made kind of some background paper. Let's go ahead and stamp my sentiment while I have my ink out. My sentiment is going to go on this little bitty tag. And that way all my stamping is done and I can move all this stuff out of the way. All right. Now, you have a Ziploc with some sparklies in it. Okay. This is just Ziploc bags I bought at the Dollar Tree. So nothing fancy. Now, you're going to take your Ziploc and I just have some plain hand sanitizer here. Okay. And I'm going to squirt me. So 
some hand sanitizer. And I don't know how much. I haven't decided. All right. I'm going to lay it down flat. Put it on top so I can see how much it squirts around. Close my lid. Because I think I got a little too much. Like, I think I got a little carried away there. So, I want it when I you know to look like water I want this to look like water over that so I think that one probably is it so I'm gonna take now my bag and I'm gonna fold it over to where it's coming down to the bottom of the card okay and then I'm going to tape it to the back of the card all right and then I'm going to take some tear and tape. Okay. And I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape right here at the top of the card. So that way the back is taped, but then it's also secured down to the front. Okay, and then I have some foam strips, so the foam strip is going to go down the side, but don't let the, the edge of the baggie can be on the foam strip, but the gel doesn't want to be on the foam strip, okay. because we don't want um, any gel underneath the foam strip. So if you want to push gel on the inside, the baggie can be secured under it, but not, well, see that didn't even stick to the card. So if the baggie is stuck in the foam strip is not stuck to the card, then we have to put some tear and tape under it. So like here, stick some tear and tape, because see here the foam strip stuck to the baggie. So now put tear and tape so that it's stuck. So this side the foam strip stuck, okay? You have an eight and a half by five and a half inch card. It's thick whisper white so that it's nice and sturdy. I got some green on it, so we're gonna cover that up. And I'm gonna use, I'm not taking my chance with my glue here. And this is going to get glued down to the front. And then you have a cutout. This is four by five and a quarter, so the same as the front. And making sure that my whole card front is glued down. You can take this. And then this is going to go oh I just meant to wrap this first okay I meant to wrap this down first so I'm gonna tuck this down why well, I forget to do that
always forget to wrap that first. I love this pokey tool. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm just poking that ribbon under the edge so that it now and then I can use my glue dots to make sure my corners are down good. And I tried to make sure everybody has long enough ribbon that you can tuck it and you should be able to tie a bow. square knot because I cannot tie a bow today for the life of me. Then we're going to put our sentiment on some dimensionals and since I'm going on ribbon I'm going to kind of stagger them because it doesn't always like to adhere. Yeah, this one I didn't make as bulky, so be very careful because like here I got it too bulky, so you can't see as well. This one you can see it better. And it looks like they're like underwater with all those little sparklies. So here is with the white and the green tag, and here is that. So I hope you like this sweet treat for this month. Um, and you will make a card like this for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.